I think it's probably old news for a lot of people. But right now in the California 25th Congressional District, Cenk Uger, the host of The Young Turks, is basically going to be um, running for that congressional seat. Now, I find it's very interesting that this is going to happen and calls into question about, you know, um, I guess the role of progressives and independents running in this race. And, I, you know, I, I'm sure that there's a lot of people that have some criticism towards Cenk Uger. I have my own, but in regards to this, uh, he's if, if he successfully runs this race and, and actually manages to defeat uh, all the other challengers because the incumbent's no longer running due to her own scandal right. that happened within her within her own campaign and administration, um, I'm very curious to see what role he will play, especially if he's able to successfully win enough votes. I don't know, Daniel. I mean, we both kind of have our little ties with TYT and Wolfpack, and I think it's very important we get your perspective too real quick. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we've, you know, we've been on TYT. We've worked with TYT in the past. Uh, We were members of Wolfpack, so we have a long and storied history working with TYT. And, you know, they've definitely changed um, quite a bit since then, or perhaps they haven't, depending on how you look at it. Yeah. But uh, I would love to see Cenk Uger yell at Nancy Pelosi every day. I think that I would much prefer him to be a congressman um, than a host. I mean, that would be quite something to see Cenk Uger. Uh, that would be a little bit of what I was hoping out of uh, Richard Ojeda, but that yeah. didn't happen. So, yeah, and, and, and again, look, I, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are asking, well, who is he running against? Right now, it's an open race. The current incumbent has stepped down. Her name's Kate Hill. Um, and, of course, she had her own scandal. Personally, if I, if I had a chance to advise her, I'd tell her to keep pushing forward and not back away and continue her term. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is, especially in this political environment with social media and people. And, you know, I guess it was just too much for her and she just stepped down. And now it's an open race. So I'm very curious to see who will actually win in the California Congressional District for 25th Congress Congressional District. And uh, it, it would be curious to see eventually the role and future of what's going to happen at TYT. But, you know, that's all up in the air. We can't predict the future. Paul, real quick. Yeah, I, I think the the incumbent that had to resign is one of the more interesting things about the race. Also, talk about uh, Jenk not exactly living in that particular district. Uh, uh, at least it can't, uh, uh, there was an article from Mediate that stated that's that. Saying that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's that's kind of a weird thing in and of itself. Uh, I really like Jenk. I think he's great, and we're going to keep an eye on his race, and I wish him the best of luck. Yeah, it's going to be an open race, and we'll see who's going to win. So hey, yeah. it is what it is. All right. I just want to say he'd be a great cannonball in Congress. I mean, yeah. 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 Look, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who have a lot of harsher opinions, but. And they're, hey. and they're, and they're warranted. And they are warranted. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm right there. I'm just curious to see how it's going to play out. So we'll, we'll be keeping a close eye on that race.